as we speak, there is a massive social media campaign trying to censor voices as diverse and as harmless as Baked Alaska, Sargon of Akkad, Infowars, and many, many others. The nationalist movement has already suffered these uh, problems from many months ago, after, of course, we know about the Charlottesville incident and the crackdown that came after. Now, of course, censorship never ends at one point. It only continues. All of this is being coordinated once by so-called trusted flaggers. All of it is retaliation for individuals with dissonant ideas or retaliation for those like Worski, who is apolitical but has a commitment to the freedom of expression. Now, who are these trusted flaggers? Eric. Who are the trusted flaggers? It's, it's not your platform, dude. Could we please move on? No, no, we get it. That's what we're let, going let to talk about tonight, Eric. Let Actually, as a matter of fact, me, that's what we're going to talk about. So oh, let, let okay. me finish and I'll leave. Let him finish, let him finish and then he'll leave and then we have a whole show. Please. Again. I wanted to make you the exception to the rule, but you're not acting that way. Please be a, a little kinder and more respectful, sir. All right. Who are these trusted flaggers that get the last say on who gets to have free speech and who doesn't? The Southern Poverty Law Center, led by Richard Cohen. The Anti-Defamation League, led by Jonathan Greenblatt. And the European No Hate Speech Movement, whose core is composed of the European Union of Jewish Students. The aforementioned groups are all pro-Israel, often to the point of fanaticism, but work around the clock to shut down any nationalist or even mild dissident sentiment in the West. Every Jewish organization from the Southern Poverty Law Center, Anti-Defamation League, World Jewish Congress, American Jewish Committee, Wiesenthal Center, embodies a single party line, violent racial supremacy for Israel, cosmopolitan open borders liberalism for white countries my thesis in the debate that is not going to happen now was that the jews are not western people and in fact the unchallenged power wielded by the jewish community is an existential threat to the occident and to human rights the west is greek philosophy roman statecraft germanic engineering the jewish response to the hellenic ideal sexual debasement through Freud and Reich, then to deconstruct it through Derrida. The Jewish response to Rome is the suicidal, alienating individualism of Ayn Rand and the money dictatorship of the city of London and Wall Street. The Jewish response to Germanic engineering, debt-ridden consumerism in the borderless, raceless, world capitalist market of Thomas Friedman's dreams. Are the Jews Western? The onus is on our opponents to prove it. Apparently, they don't want to.